Here's our next example. We're going to solve using the quadratic formula. I would make that choice because it's in standard form and I cannot factor that trinomial on the left side. Can't factor it and my choice now is to go for quadratic formula. Okay, standard form, it must be in standard form. I have all my terms on the left side equal to zero, so I can pick A, B, and C. A is the coefficient on, on x squared. We've got another just one. B, again, it's a positive seven. C, negative seven this time. And let's plug into this formula x equals negative b plus or minus square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. Negative b, we have that negative 7 plus or minus square root b squared is 7 squared minus 4 times a is 1, c is negative 7, all over 2 times a is 2 times 1. All right, so all I've done is just replaced a, b, and c with these numbers that we pulled off of the equation in standard form. Now it's order of operations negative 7 inside the radical 7 squared is our 49 here's one area where we need to be cautious particularly when we are plugging in a negative number I could see this 4 times 1 times negative 7 would be negative 28 but I have minus negative 28 minus negative should be turned to a plus, get a positive 28. So one way, I maybe like to look at that as just bring down the minus and I see the multiplication, four times one times negative seven is negative 28, and then minus negative I turn into a plus. So be cautious there. If we see two negatives, that, that will definitely become an add. <clears throat> denominator 2. Inside the radical we have an addition 49 plus 28 77 over 2. What do we do next? Well we could split this up into two equations but we're not going to be able to do any adding or subtracting between those two terms in the numerator. We have a radical and we have of negative 7, a rational number, so we cannot add or subtract these two. We want to get accustomed to a flow through these problems. So once we get here, the previous example, we had a number. With the number we had there, I, I believe it was a 1, if memory serves. So we had a nice positive 1, so we had some more math we could do. We could do the addition and subtraction in the numerator. That's why we split it up into two equations. But with a radical there, we have a sort of a little bit of a different way of finishing. At this point, we have to think about 1. Simplify the radical. Okay, radical 77. Will I find any pairs of factors in there? 77, I'm just going to get to 7 times 11. No pairs of factors in there, so the radical is simplified can't do anything else to this radical 77. After that we think about is there any canceling in the fraction to do. That would be us considering the three places, not just two, but all three. The three places in this case would be the two, the negative seven, and the number out front. We don't see it. It's going to be a one when we don't see it there. Can't do any canceling. Can't evenly divide anything out of 2 and 7 and 1. So it's a good place to just end it. Negative 7 plus or minus radical 77. If you leave the 1 there, that's okay. Over 2. 
We have our plus minus there to indicate that we'll have two answers. One number we come up with from using the plus, one number we come up with from using the minus. But as long as these two terms are different in the numerator, one is, has a radical part, one does not, we can't do any combining. So this is actually a preferred way to leave our answer with that plus or minus symbol in it. Here's another example. We will solve using the quadratic formula. We have an issue before we think about a, b, and c. We don't have it in standard form. We need all of our terms to be on one side with a zero on the other side. So I need to move these terms. I'm going to cancel the 6x and the 9, bring them over to the left side. So if I take away 6x, I won't be able to combine it with that 2x squared. It's going to go just next to it canceled off the right side, shows up on the left side, 2x squared minus 6x equals 9. And now let's get rid of that 9. You could have get, gotten rid of both in one step. Sometimes I just want to take my time. Cancel equals 0. Okay, now it's in standard form and only now can we really think about a, b, and c. To try to find a, b, and c without it in standard form, it's just the wrong path. a equals positive 2. Check it out, we have a minus 6x. That means our b is going to be a negative 6. c, negative 9. And let's go for that formula. Do you remember it yet? x equals negative b plus or minus square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. And let's just be cautious and start plugging in. Negative b. How was I doing that before? I had my negative sign and a set of parentheses where I'm going to put in my value for b. And in this case, it's negative 6. So do you see that this is actually going to be turning into a positive 6? We, can, we could look at that negative b as saying the opposite, opposite of b. So that when we were plugging a number like 7, we would see a negative 7 show up. But now that we're plugging in a negative number, opposite of negative, 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 that's going to turn into a positive 6. I'm just going to leave it like that for now, but I know that very next step, that's going to become a positive 6. And it happens when b is negative. This part right here, it's always the opposite of b. When b was 7 from the other example, we had a negative 7 show up. Here, b is negative 6. That will become positive 6. Let's move on. Plus or minus b squared. How are we substituting? Always open up that set of parentheses. b squared is set of parentheses with that exponent on the outside. Negative 6 coming inside. That b squared is always going to be positive also. If you're coming up with negatives there, that, that should be fixed. Fix that up. Minus 4 times a times c. a is 2. c, negative 9. That's our numerator. It's all over 2 times a. 2 times 2. Now remember from completing the square, we had an issue if there was a, a coefficient on x squared that was greater than 1. But no problem with quadratic formula. That's just fine. It just means a is going to be 2 or whatever coefficient it is on that x squared. So if, if you were thinking about that, it's no problem when it's quadratic formula. Let's go through the rest of these steps. So there's our minus negative 6, or negative negative 6 is positive. Negative 6 squared, negative 6 times negative 6, positive 36. Minus 4 times 2 times negative 9. Here's another, it's going to be another minus negative answer. This 4 times 2 is 8. 8 times 9 negative 72. So we have 36 minus negative 72. And if you wanted to just make that 36 plus 72, I think that's a, a fine idea. 2 times 2, 4 in the denominator. 